plays about it. Sodding game. Seriously, they need to work on the wing beacons. I always find so those six megameters from too me. soon after I um, yeah. dropped. The wing beacons are fine if minutes. you wait if you wait like while. five seconds or if you wait for someone to drop in. But as soon as they've dropped I was still in, it's, dropping it in, it was it put you out as where I dropped in at rather than okay where I came out. Ram <laughs> 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 into the station. I went through the station. <laughs> Well, you can't get any closer than that. Landing like literally on the front door. <laughs> Come on, Lars, move your ship. Bigger ship coming through. Look, I'm I'm taking up the least amount of space here. <laughs> this you can do is not bitch about it. I went sideways because I knew that like if I went in sideways I could like take the top corner of the fucking cow catcher. And then you would have like all of the cow catcher pretty much. Oh shit. <laughs> you press B. Yeah. <laughs> <Pink>. <laughs> <laughs> Watch him go overhead. I'm like sat above my landing pad just watching you do that. Yeah, because you can get to... Federation aligned missions to attack Federation aligned settlements and stuff. And it just doesn't make sense. It's just like two different companies that work for the Federation fighting against each other. Eight grand to take. No. So, yeah. Donate Even though your reputation grand. will go down. Well, I haven't seen that mission before. Hmm. Yeah. Even though your reputation may go down, link. your rank won't. Yeah. There you go. Uh, superpower reputation, I'm friendly with the superpower. And my reputation local is cordial. Yay, that put me up 1%, so now I'm friendly to 79%. Uh, I'm cordial with everything. But, oh my god. Look at Hambula Blue Advance Industry. Have a look at the fucking crazy bitch that fucking runs that. Have a look at the eyes that will reach into your soul oh and god. suck the marrow from your body. That is terrifying. Oh, jeez. That, that's just like... I will eat you for dinner and you will enjoy it. It's, yeah. it's more like you've got husky eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with her eyes? It's like, of all the, the things that they could have designed, some of these I have to assume are kind of like... Um, like randomly generated, but holy shit. Holy shit, her eyes. Like allowing like the most recent games where What if Battlefield jump. 1 is similar to Battlefield 4, Jim? There's already enough different in that game to make it fun. Part destruction of planes where you can physically chip the wing off. And make it so, it, yes, it can fly, but it won't fly very fucking well. It's not like in um, Battlefield where you had a rotor failure, but it still flew. And there was no physical damage to the thing. Or a jet. A jet wouldn't lose any maneuverability no matter how much you pounded the fuck out of it. Whereas in this game, modular destruction, which is in Elite Dangerous as well. You target certain areas, you're going to cause problems for the, the person that you're attacking. 
And it's the same with the destruction si system on, like, tanks and uh, planes. You can basically detread a tank in the game. You can fucking take a wing off and just make it, like, so you don't destroy the vehicle, but you might as well have done. And unless they can repair it before they hit the ground, they're not fucking doing it. It's gonna be cool. And yeah. the fact that every sniper is a bolt action sniper, none of this fucking spam spam bullshit. And they're all pretty much one shot kills because, hey, guess what? Snipers are fucking powerful. I know. And the game. All the modern games are like, oh, we can run around with a sniper. Oh, we can quick scope. No, yeah. this time snipers have to stay pretty much still. You well, get no one cares. But Jim, you asked me a fucking question. So obviously you cared enough to ask me the fucking question. Okay. So, uh. Yeah. If you didn't want the fucking answer, oh, yeah. don't Wings. fucking answer the question. Got uh, four jumps to Felicity. I'm going. Oh wait, I'm leaving wing, but I'm in your wing. Lol. Glitch. That usually oh, yeah, means okay. it's working. Tap wood. You didn't need the fucking Bible read out. Well, you didn't ask me for a straight yes or no question. You left me open for fucking rambling. And you know me, I ramble. After two years of streaming, I like to fucking talk. I like the sound of my own voice. And guess what? It's not going to fucking change anytime soon. <laughs> well, hey, you can always go and watch Kenzie. You can be my bodyguard. <laughs> I can be your long lost pal. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Hang on, how is that not an open-ended question? Fox. What? What if Battlefield 1 is similar to Battlefield 4? Is that not an open-ended question? It is an open-ended question. Thank you, Fox. <laughs> Jim, an open-ended question is one that doesn't have a yes or no on the end or a true or false on the end. And gives you the ability to change aspects of your answer. So it's like, no, it isn't. Thus, examples and all that stuff. It isn't a simple yes or no. It's like, am I it's playing Elite Dangerous? Yes or no? Yeah. That's a, that's not an open-ended question. That is a closed-ended question because there is a definite answer that cannot be fucking it expanded is upon. Not an open-ended question. Are you okay? There you go. <laughs> Simple yes or no. You can't go into detail. Just like, no, I'm not. Because of all these reasons. Well, then again, it is an open-ended question. And this is an open-ended question. I contradicted yeah. myself. Damn it. No, if you add yes or no to the end, or true or false, or yes give two or no. answers, that's a closed-ended question. Uh, An open-ended question is one that you don't have a definitive yes or no answer to. Or a choice yep. to. Yep. May not have been very good at English, but fuck me, do I know how to talk? I think that leaving the wing glitch actually it. fixed the shit because I've been jumping for like three jumps now. And, and it's not uh, touch wood. Done. Ow. Done. <laughs> I need to touch wood too, just in case if it decides to kick me out. Did you hear the hollow thud of me touching wood? Yep. Well, it literally is that. Boop, boop. Touch wood. Should touch the other wood, but it's not really wood at the moment. By the way, um, how's the Witcher? Haven't you? I traded it just yet. <laughs> done. <laughs> you hated just it done. that much? No, I just, I just, it wasn't enough there to grab me in the short amount I played it, and I just didn't care. I didn't care about playing yeah. it. Mm. Oh well. I want to get seven days to die though. I'm looking at that. I don't know though. I honestly don't know. I want to get it, but I haven't played it myself yet, so it's mm. all depending. And it's only four-player online co-op, so it doesn't grab me as a game I want to do because I'd want to have more than four players. Mm. And the fact that it's got jumps a... left for you. I I'm not looked yet. And the fact that it hasn't got what? Jim! You know you say I can get with many girls with witches? With the witcher? Guess what? I can get with a girl in real life. And it's a lot more fun. Yay! 
point proven. Might as well just drop the mic clause. Then <laughs> <laughs> you just did. <laughs> 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 Oh yes, yes. Oh, hang on. That deserves a GG. Oh, it does deserve. Fuel scooping.